Okay, so I have my ATC device set up here, brake strand on the bottom, gate is locked. So there are two different ways to belay with a uh, with the after device off your harness. And the standard way these days is PBUS, which is an acronym for pull brake under slide. Um, so the way that works is first your brake hand is palm down. So my palm is pointing toward the ground here and my thumb is pointing toward the uh, belay device here. So that's the grip position for PBUS. And when we're belaying out, so our climber is going out, all we do is we keep our hand kind of in the brake position and we just push slightly forward with the brake hand and the rope will slide pretty freely through. And I'm kind of pulling with the feeling hand because we don't want the climber to have to pull the rope out. We're doing it for them. So that's, fit, that's getting out slack with PBUS. But the more uh, complicated part is when you're bringing in slack. So when we bring in slack, the way we do that is we, we go into our brake position, we grab with our feeling hand underneath our brake hand, we slide the brake hand up toward the device, and then we feed in like that. So we kind of push in with my feeling hand and pull out with my brake hand, and I go forward and back into the brake position. Now I'm now I, now I'm re, now I have to reset here. So I in the brake position, I grab underneath, bring my brake hand up, and then pull another section of slack out. So to do that a few times here, this is what it looks like. So we're just bringing in slack. When Shorter throws tends to be easier with PBUS. If you do really big throws, then I can't actually get my hand, get the rope really in the brake position securely. So it's better to do short throws with PBUS like that. So that's taking slack in with PBUS. And the goal here is to stay mostly in the brake position as much as possible. So we only come out of brake position to, to pull a quick piece of slack out. So that's. Blame with PBUS.